Apollo IO tutorial, how to use Apollo IO for lead generation. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Apollo IO. Apollo IO is a great way for you to build engaging pipelines and making sure that your potential leads are not lost. You can enrich your pre-existing relationships with your suppliers or with any potential customers you might have and make sure that your business and team is always growing. So to get started with Apollo IO, simply head on over to Apollo IO and click on sign up for free. Once you do that, you can choose to sign up with your email address, Google or Microsoft. So I'm going to click on sign up with Google and I'm going to proceed with my Google account over here. Now, one thing to note is that you don't necessarily need your business email to do this. You can do this on a burner email as well because it's not really that necessary. So after you have done that, you can link your CRM if you've already built your CRM on any of these platforms. However, it is not necessary to link your CRM to sync up your contacts. You can do it later on the top left and just click on get started now. Once you've completed that, you will see your dashboard. Now, in your dashboard, you have a prospect and enrich section on the left panel. So if you click on search in this particular section, this can help you in finding the particular people that you need for your business. You also have a few different other features, including engagement features such as sequences, which are basically automated emails, and then your emailing. Then you have your winning and closing, as well as tools and workflows. Now, to find your audience, you need to go into your search bar. And once you go into search, you have two different options. You can either search for companies or people. Now, this depends on the type of leads you are trying to find. Are you trying to find a particular person who you can pitch to? Or are you trying to find a permanent relationship with another business as a business? So this is going to be very different for both of those strategies. So to get started, you can click on the lists over here. And let's say I want to go into all and I want to search for people that are in technology. And once you do that, you will see a lot of different answers for technology. And this is going to filter out, you know, a bunch of different people for you. But I don't want, you know, a very broad category. I'm going to go into the people section. What I'm going to do is we're going to add a few filters and you have a few different filters available. You have funding, you have revenue, you have signals, emails opened, employees, industry keywords, and more. So you have a lot of different filters that you can use for you to be able to find the accurate people for your particular demographic. Now, first off, I'm going to search for people. I want to provide marketing and I want to provide that for perfumeries. So I'm going to search for perfumes just as a keyword. And you will see a few different perfumeries have shown up and the title is perfume, the company, quick actions, the contact location, the number of employees, the phone industry and the keyword. So what I can do is let's say I want to go into, I can't find any, yeah, let's say I want to go into this particular business. So this is Alliance uh, from Cossary Hampton Roads, Virginia. They have their business. It is a French language and culture business, whatever it might be. So we have a few different technologies, Google Analytics, Weebly, and more tools they're using, any job postings, news, employee trends that they might have. And after I have taken a look at some of their basic information, you guys can see their one year growth was actually negative and then their two year growth has been positive. So the business currently is, you know, pretty much stagnant. So I definitely could provide them with a lot of value in my initial offering. Now you guys can see I have the number and then I have the LinkedIn profiles. We have the organizational information, but how do you approach a company or how do you approach people? Well, if you are looking for a, you know, person, so I want owners and, you know, we have a bunch of different owners over here. And let's say that I want to contact this person. How do I just go on ahead and contact them? Well, there are a few different things that you need to make sure you are following. 
First off, when you're emailing or cold outreach or just doing a general outreach to a person you have never, a person or business you haven't communicated with beforehand, you need to make sure that your first few lines are killer because those first few lines are readable even when people don't open their email. And if those first couple of lines don't entice them enough, they are never going to open your email. So make sure that your subject is providing a lot of value as well as your initial email. So you guys can see this is just a basic little template that you can write up. Now, I don't recommend a certain template to be used for every email that you send because that can be not tailored to the particular viewer of that email. So you want to tailor your email a little according to the company or the business owner that you are sending to. So you can customize your email offerings according to their business. That can help them in understanding how you might be useful or impactful in their business. So what you're going to do is you can click on access phone number like this. And then just like that, you guys can see it. You will have access to their email address. Now, once you click on their email address, you can start typing in your subject. So let's say this is our subject. Elevate your business or elevate your Google ranking by 70%. Hey, Mr. Whatever, you know, you want to make it personalized. So insert that person's name over here. So, hey, Mr. Victor, your business SI14 is a leader in betting and games. However, your Google search results, you know, whatever you want to write, your Google search results don't lead you in the top 10. And I can, with our digital marketing services, you can get in the top 10% of Google and get your listing on the top of Google search results. So you can obviously get that answered like this. And once you do on the bottom, you have some text formatting and you also can add a video. You can add templates. You can also add meeting options, snippets, and more. And you can even build a delivery schedule. So if you know that this person is not going to answer right now, you know that they might be checking their uh, emails in the business day. So you want to do it in the next business day morning. So it would be delivered tomorrow when the business day starts for them. And this can help you in making sure that the email reaches them at a good time. Because if they are at home and you're emailing then, they're going to look at it and they're going to you know swipe away at your notifications. So that is why it's very simple that you are emailing in a particular time as well. And in this way, you have access to so many people using Apollo IO, and you can find the accurate people to send your business potential to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Apollo IO for your lead generation and lead enrichment. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.